this lesson, Drawing Three-Dimensional Objects, we'll begin by giving you a three-dimensional object and showing you how to draw its two-dimensional side views. Then, we will take that same three-dimensional object and show you how to draw it on two-dimensional isometric dot paper. And finally, we will give you the two-dimensional side views of an object and have you come up with the object. We'll begin with our three-dimensional object made out of different colored cubes. If we look at this object straight on from the left-hand side, we would see something like this. A set of squares. A brown square on the bottom left, attached to a blue square on its right, and two purple squares that would appear on top of the blue square. The black line would indicate that the purple squares are in a different depth than the blue and the brown square. From the right side, we would see something quite different. It would look something like this. Three vertical purple squares attached to a brown square on the bottom right. And notice that the brown square would be at a different depth. From above, our two-dimensional side view would look something like this. Notice again, the purple square is at a different depth than the other three squares. Our front view would be almost exactly what you see on screen. It'd be our L shape with the two blue squares at the bottom and then our three vertical purple squares. Those are the two-dimensional views from a three-dimensional object. It's amazing how they can all look so different and yet come from the same thing. Let's take this three-dimensional object and show you how to draw it on isometric dot paper. The key to drawing a three-dimensional object on this type of paper is to remember that a horizontal line on our object must appear as a diagonal line following the dots. This enables this isometric dot paper to take an object and make it appear as three-dimensional even though this is a two-dimensional surface. We'll demonstrate this by drawing our first cube. We'll begin by drawing the bottom of the cube, which is a square, followed by drawing the top of the cube, another square, and then connect with vertical lines, thus giving us our three-dimensional cube. We'll put the other two purple cubes on top of this and draw them in a similar fashion. When you have more than one object, it can appear very confusing with all the lines. So the next step is to eliminate or erase all the lines that would not appear as if this were a solid object. Let's do the same thing with the blue cubes. We'll draw our two blue cubes on isometric dot paper and then eliminate the lines that would not appear as if they were solid. Finally, we'll take our brown cube at the back, put it on our isometric dot paper, and eliminate the invisible lines. And there we have our three-dimensional object represented nicely on a two-dimensional surface. This isometric dot paper allows us an opportunity to take the two-dimensional side views of an object and to draw the object as it actually appears in three dimensions. We'll begin with the front side of the object and place it on the isometric dot paper. Next, we'll attach the right side of the object and put it on the dot paper, followed by the top side. And the left side, you'll notice, has a discrepancy in the depth and that would also appear on our isometric dot paper. We'll put in any final lines, and there we have our three-dimensional object from two-dimensional side views.